Hello everybody. Welcome to Playtime. We've got a mystery guest and the mystery guest is behind us a screen right now so you can't see that person's name like last time. <laughs> um and today we are joined by the usual crew led by our illustrious general, Field Marshal Martin Kershaw. Would you like to say anything to the troops, Marty? <coughs> okay. <laughs> wow. That's going to take a while to really work through the meaning of that. <laughs> uh, Graham, do you want to say anything? <laughs> Mario, have you got anything you want to say before we introduce our mystery guest? <laughs> okay, so should we, should we introduce our mystery guest? We're very excited. It's uh, this is uh, it's exciting. So, do you want to, Mr. Guest? Do you want to say something before we reveal your visual appearance? You have to speak louder than that. <laughs> okay, so. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, who is our mystery guest? It's Sue McKenzie! Yay! Oh. Sue McKenzie! <laughs> oh. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to play some improvised music for you. And, yeah, we'll see you at the other side. I think we're doing the after show chat again tonight, are we? Okay, so get your questions ready for later. Anyway, here we go. Into the Sonic Underworld.
So can you turn up a wee bit?
and gentlemen, we're about to get cut off on a video. You've been listening to the wonderful C. McKenzie on soprano sax, Graham Stephen on guitar, Martin Kershaw on tenor saxophone and alto saxophone, Mario Caribe on the double bit basso. My name is Tom Bankles on the drums. I am representing the Umpa Lumpa community. And um, we're about to get cut off visually, but not sonically from you. But we will be taking a 15 minute break. And uh, thank you very much for listening in. And um, we'll see you about 21.39. See about twenty one thirty nine.
Hello, everybody. Uh, we are back. Mario is audible, uh, uh, but not visible. Uh, 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 so, uh, uh, Mario, uh, uh, are you going to join on a Zoom? Uh, 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 have you muted? Have you muted your Zoom mics? I don't know if I've actually. I haven't done it. <laughs> Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to let you know that in my household we've run out of gin for the first time <gasps> since the start of lockdown, which is um, pretty scary. However, fortunately, thanks to Dr. Adrian Cullen, I've got a very nice bottle of whiskey here. So, And I've got some ba backup bottles of Malbec in an emergency. So... I've now got, oh, here they come. They're coming in waves. Um, I'm having a non-alcoholic gin and then a oh Jesus. Dr. Cullen whiskey chaser. which kind of So this is the non-alcoholic gin with Diet Coke and then so. the whiskey chaser. Nice. Now where's, here, here comes Mario. Now let's just check that this is all working on. Here we go. Simon Tumor has finally mm -hmm. made it. He missed the first set completely because he was off watching. Um, he was off watching his wife do something, and uh, he's being rude about my hair. So some things don't change. Has anybody got anything Your you want to say, wanna say to Simon Tumar? Sue, do you want to say anything to Simon Tumar? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Simon, how do you pronounce your name, your surname properly? Is it Tumaya or Tumir? That's a question for after the show. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do our after show chat like we did last week because we all enjoyed it a lot. I don't know if any of you did. <laughs> <laughs> we did. And um, anyway, Graham's going to say something now before we start. Over to you, Graham. As usual, a man of <laughs> infinite wisdom. <laughs> Marty, do you want to say something to boost morale before we go over I'm the top into enemy fire? I'm still just trying to process what Graham just said. It was, you know, it's pretty deep. Have you got any I more crow crow language you wanna? I think we should move on. <laughs> and, and, and give the fans what they're waiting for. <laughs> Simon Tumir has confirmed that it's Tumir. So we can all rest easy in our beds tonight. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you at the other end of another journey into the central vortex of Sonic Doom.
Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we're coming to the end of our second set. This is Donate. Donate Link. Ladies and Donate Link, if you want to support our wives and pets and husbands and all of those other, you know, children and stuff, fucking collect to Asda. On the saxophone, we got Martin Kershaw, the wonderful, the amazing C. McKenzie. We got Mario Kalimi on the bass. He's foreign, but we love him. We got Graham Stephen, he's from Abadudu. Don't go away, we're going to come back for a post gig chat. You can ask, ask questions. We might invite somebody on talk to us. Dave Mulligan's here. We love you, Dave Mulligan. We want you to come play with us one night. So. We're going to get caught off any second. We'll be right back. And then we're going to... We're going to hear what Martin has to say. Will he talk to us in Crow language or in English? See you right after the break.
Hello, everybody. Um, we're waiting for Martin and Mario. Um, Sue, how was that for you? It turns out for the last 10 weeks, Graham hadn't plugged in his vocal mic. <laughs> I thought it was Bluetooth. <laughs> I thought it was Bluetooth. <laughs> for like 11 weeks, Graham's not had his mic plugged in. And we Didn't just realized it needed phantom power. <laughs> <laughs> He's suddenly talking. It's beautiful. Mario's wearing sunglasses. What's that about? Cool. Mm. Okay. Marty's not here. So, ladies and gentlemen, we need some questions. Uh, if you want to fire questions in on YouTube or video, uh, not video, YouTube or Facebook, um, we will answer them to the best of our ability. Um, <laughs> uh, I think Dave Milligan uh, agreed to come on the show uh, and to play with us. Um, on Facebook, there's we know it's one of these public flirtations, and he's, oh, he he'll probably drive a hard bargain behind the scenes, you know. Um, so, so um, is this the first li on on live gig online remote gig you've done, or have you done loads of these sort of things? Okay. And uh, how did that? We, uh, I believe you do that with like two thousand people at the same time. So. Oh, Sue, uh, you've got a uh, you've got a admirer, Ivan, who's one of our regular. He said, "Where has Sue been all my life?" Um, I'll. I think you might be a bit late there, S Ivan. I think you kind of, <laughs> might the ship might sail, but who, kn who knows? <laughs> it's good to have, oh, Caroline says she can't hear Sue. Okay, wait a minute. That's my fault. Uh, Sue, could you say something? I can. Yeah, that's. Should be. Can you not hear, s oh, hold on a minute. I think I know what it is. I I know what it is. I know what it is. Can you hear me now? Oh my goodness, Graham Stevens' background is incredible. People out there, <laughs> Ivan. <laughs> Ivan, this is for you. Can you hear Sue? I need Can you hear me, Ivan? Sue, still mute. Says. Really? Um. Do you think. want me to turn up here? No, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not that. It's it's uh. I'm just trying to work out why it's not. Surely it's working now. Say something else. Is it else, working? Eh? Is it working now? Is it working uh, now? Testing one, two, three. Sounding good. We can hear her. Yes, we got. We're good. Yay! Right, point. So um, and everybody can hear Graham. Okay, we've got a question. Sue is much louder. I think that's a good sign. I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, <laughs> I can turn Sue down. If Sue's too loud now, tell me, and I'll <laughs> turn her down a bit. Um, yes. It is some people are saying yes. I Does that mean yes, loud. she's too loud, or yes, we you can't hear her? <laughs> so sh sure, it's too loud. Okay, she's too loud. I'm going to turn her down. I'm, I'm usually too loud, to be fair. How's that... Um, How's that, How's that people? Is Sue the right level now? We could do this for an hour. We'll just get I know, right? Sound checking <laughs> Sue's talking. <laughs> just so she can talk to Ivan. One, two, three. Three, two, one. Right, we've got a question from... Uh, we've got a question from... Ivan sent four love big love hearts and two little love hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm sort of um, Serrano de Bergerac here, kind of in between this... Um, that's 
That's we lovely. We've got a question from Dave Mulligan who asked, uh, what was everyone drinking? So let's go around the group and let's see what... Marty, what were you drinking? Um, water. Water? Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm on the antihistamines at the moment, so I can't really have spirits. Um. It I is. I didn't think it could get more rock and roll until you mentioned the antihistamines. <laughs> oh, well then. <laughs> Blair, who is Ivan's friend, thinks Ivan's gone deep. <laughs> um, so right, so Graham, what were you drinking? Uh couple of bottles of red wine, a bottle of whiskey, <laughs> and a baby <laughs> that, That's probably why he's plugged his mic in. Do you mean like in the morning as well, or <laughs> just the evening? Um, so Ivan says that he loves the way you say the number three. Three? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a bit. Yeah. Mario sa uh, Simon says Mario has the sexiest voice. Oh, yeah, easily. Oh, thank you, Simon. So, Mario, what have you been drinking? Um, one bottle of red wine. <laughs> <laughs> Lightweight. <laughs> so, what have you Not been everyone drinking? is born like with your <laughs> constituent, you know, <laughs> with your, your, your super strength and your Aberdonian predisposition. <laughs> so, what have you been drinking? Um, I have been drinking water. And not water. Oh, not water, right, okay. Mm. Oh, yeah. Um, Graham, Caroline has asked if you've got a, a different backdrop. She doesn't like your yeah, backdrop. I'll put up the outhouse instead. Oh. Well, that's the outhouse. Oh, God, yeah, it is. So nice. It is. Oh, yeah. my son's been there. He's, uh, he's gonna, they're going to open uh, in about a week or so. Oh, wow. It's amazing. Yeah. Cool. So he's going to be working, uh, they're opening the beer garden. Mm. Oh, cool. We we had this issue last week that a lot of our a lot of our viewers, listens, listeners, or whatever you call them, I don't know. Are you viewers? That's a question for you. Are you viewers or listeners? What's the right correct word for? Um, they don't ask questions. They make statements. You know, we're asking we're asking for s questions, and they just make statements. And um, you know, what you meant to do with the statement, you just sort of make just. I could put like Simon says. Mario is drinking the food of love. What are we meant to do with that? I mean, what, what can you do with that? You can just say it and then, you, then there's, there's a silence. He is right. <laughs> I am drinking the food of love. Okay, you could turn it into a question. Is Mario drinking the food of love? <laughs> yes. Put a, put a question mark at the end of every <laughs> observation. <laughs> okay, here's, here's some really good questions. Some good questions are coming in. They're responding to my requests like the wonderful people they are, they mostly are <laughs> apart from you know there's a couple but um caroline's question is what is martin eating that's one for you martin good question <laughs> <laughs> well um i was sorry i was really hungry that's why i was late um but um i was actually eating uh some bread and peanut butter and tomato and actually i made the bread myself <gasps> oh, nice. And I made it out of yogurt and flour. You can make. Wow. I never knew this. You can make bread out of yogurt. It's incredible. Nice. Wow. And it actually tastes pretty good. Wow. So that's what. That's amazing. You should share the recipe on the pl on the Playtime website. Well, that's that's to and that's totally blown my mind. Okay, we've got a question from Bronwyn Brent, who I believe Mario plays with, and Graham. Is that correct? Yeah, there is. Bronwyn says. She's got two, two questions. When do you think you will get to play again together? Does she mean... <laughs> does she mean, like, in real life? I mean, I guess in, in so. the same room. I think we're hoping to try and do that pretty soon. We, we've got a, we're going to try and do a gig in the same room in, play to, uh, in Pathhead Village Hall. We're waiting for the, um, the committee to give us the go-ahead. So you never know, it could be next week, could it be the week after? And the second question is, how has the lockdown affected each of you mentally? 
Oof. You just have to Graham? look. Yeah. You just have to look at me. You know. Hey, <laughs> 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 <Be bad. laughs> oh, so it's affected you physically, Graham. <laughs> You look exactly. fine. You're a yeah. fine man. You look fine, man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that, is actually, that is not actually Graham. That's a puppet that he made. <laughs> <laughs> He's holding up sticks. <laughs> Sue, how has it affected you mentally? Uh, mentally? Uh, I'm just very, very tired. We have, uh, we've done a lot of homeschooling. Uh, we've done so much homeschooling. I think our eight-year-old is ready to start university next week. Yep. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Mario, how has it affected you mentally? Um, it's been pretty challenging, and it's kind of a each day as it comes, and it. Very, it's very, it's bizarre because you would have thought, oh great, we're gonna stay three months doing uh, everything we want to do in the house, and then when you get locked in the house, you just like, you go, oh well, I'm so demotivated. Uh. But it's trying to find, you know, trying to find the motivation and the uh, perspective to see that this is going to finish and things will, you know, be back to normal sometime. But it has been pretty challenging. Yeah, it's been, it's been. Sometimes difficult, sometimes okay. How's it been with you, Tom? Uh, <coughs> I've had my adult children staying for three months. That's been really cool. I like that. I've been liking that. But it's been a bit... I've been really stressed out and busy most of the time. So I had to dye my hair blue. Did I've that work on your stress levels? What? Dye in your hair blue? Yeah, it, kind of it seems to feel, it seems, you know, like when you have a haircut that you look at and you go, that's actually how I feel in the inside. And it registers something like, it, just, it makes me feel okay. So, um, we've got some more questions. I think we should move on. Uh, Ivan, who's obviously in smitten with Sue, <laughs> has asked this question. I think it's for Sue, but are we human or are we dancers? It's the never-ending question. Uh, Graham Stephen uh, has asked a question. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is the same Graham Stephen in the group, but <laughs> but let's pass this over to Graham <laughs> to, to answer this question, which may be from himself. What are the notes of D. Dorian? And then there's a subsidiary question from Simon Tumier. <laughs> what is Graham's favourite folk tune in D. Dorian? Is he responding to his question? <laughs> He's just looking blankly <laughs> into <laughs> space. <laughs> <It's like laughs> Graham, are you there? <laughs> oh. He's unplugged his microphone. I don't know <laughs> what that's about. W why? Okay. Uh, this one, I think, is for me. What color is from Jesus? Jesus is watching. He's always he's watching. He's always watching. <laughs> he's always watching. <laughs> what color is the blood of Smurfs? Is his question. Mm. It's obviously blue. We know that. Mm -hmm. Blair has asked, what brought Mario to Scotland? I'll answer that question. It was the drugs, the women, and the money. Is that about right? Exactly in that order. <laughs> uh, well, how, did that, how did that pan out for you, Mario? <laughs> uh, uh, well, I thought that was what got him kicked out of Brazil. Uh, he, he, saw this like that. he saw this advert in <laughs> Downbeat magazine. Come to Scotland for the drugs, the women, and the money. <laughs> I'm still working on the drugs, I have to say. Okay. Uh, Ivan <laughs> Ivan has asked two more questions and then followed up with the these questions are all for Sue, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is is it's not Sue getting a, is this getting this a bit one. is it getting a bit stalkery this or are you okay? He doesn't know where you live, it's fine. No, you're fine. Um what uh apart from yogurt bread baking, 
What new skills have you learnt? Is the first one. What lockdown rules have you broken? It's the second one. Oh, that seems to be for Martin. For me? Yeah, wow. I think it seems to be for Martin that one. Yeah. What he said after that, this is for Sue. So. Okay, I have baked no bread. Uh, I am growing vegetables. I'm growing lots of vegetables, um, and that's really cool. Uh, I'm actually quite enthusiastic about my vegetable patch. Probably more so than I should be. Um, I, oh, rules that I have broken. I think we went eight miles rather than five. I've been doing this thing called Hug Club where I, I put a coat over my head and just hug people. Because <laughs> like, are you, are you doing it now, Tom? No, no, uh, I, I'm not doing it now. That's actually what my face looks like. <laughs> But yeah, with people that look like they need a hug and I want to hug them, I'm just thinking, fuck it, I'm just going to hug them. But I cover my head with uh, a coat and I give them a really big, long hug. And you can hug the people from your household. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, God. Oh, yeah. you know, who, w that's, who wants to hug them? <laughs> Oof. That was a joke. I do, I do hug them. Oof. Careful now. Simon Tumor says, Tumia says, Charlie McCarran's Bulgarian Red is an amazing tune in D Dorian. Simon, this is a jazz thing. We don't want to hear <laughs> about your f Charlie McCarran, who, you know, is a wonderful man and a beautiful man, apart from that time he punched my wife. And uh, <laughs> we've got through that, and he's a wonderful man, but we don't want to hear about him. Okay, go and talk about him in your own blooming live stream chat. Okay, Simon Tumir. Uh, Caroline has made a statement. It was Tommy. Put a question Smith. mark afterwards. It was. <laughs> 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 Simon's brought up something, a topic that we can't talk about. Um, Caroline Bond says it was Tommy Smith. I think that's what brought Mario <laughs> to Scotland. Oh, okay. Y yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, that that was one of the first things that. Uh, How did that work out for you? Quite well, actually. Quite well. I'm, I'm teaching at the RCS, you know. Good. Nice. Good. All right. Um, well I'm not going to answer Simon's question. Simon, what's what happens at Distill? Stays at Distill. Come on, Simon. <laughs> right, we've run out of questions. So, Martin, I think you need to say something inspiring, as you always do. In cruel language. <laughs> I don't know any more wide crow sayings, I'm afraid. Sorry. How was it? I have a question for Sue. Oh. How was it doing this for you with playtime? I totally loved it. It's, uh, to be honest, it's probably been the highlight so far really so that sounds that sounds really of your, of your entire no, life it's been the highlight your entire but, um, life no i wouldn't go that far tom um no it's seriously it's uh, it's just been so lovely to have like other human contact um and and mario and mario um <laughs> and just to play it's been really it's been really cool like Honestly, it's been, thank you so much. It's been incredible. Yeah, you, it was great. You you were great. She is great. She she was sent a, a a a form before she agreed to come on that she had to say that otherwise <laughs> she's not getting any money. Oh, she let's I have um I have a a, a funny a, well it's not By the way, can you send funny. can you send money please because we've got to pay Sue the money that we now owe her because she said what she just said there. That cost us quite a lot of money, that last statement. Growing your own potatoes is not cheap, I can tell you. Um, I had quite a funny thing happen to me before the gig, and this is actually a true story, and it's never happened to me before. Um, I got locked in our toilet in between the sound check and the gig. That's never happened to me. Shit. Yeah, I got locked in the toilet. <laughs> How did you manage to get out of that? I had to bang squeeze. on the door. I was starting to get a little bit like... Oh, um, but and eventually the lock, but it was totally jammed, and I was like, 
Oh, this is not good. This Did you have really someone else in the time. house? Or were you? Oh on yeah, yeah. No, no. I was. N- I was not on my own, thankfully. Um, but I managed to get out eventually. Um, but all of those times that you think, how awful would it be to get locked in the I have toilet? A, I have a funny story. It well, it's not so funny. I have a, s- a similar story that has maybe uh, a funny take to it, but it, w- it actually became a little bit uh, dicey. There's a, a friend of ours called Douglas Brown, and he, and he wanted to practice. You know Douglas? Yeah. Yeah, he's a wonderful yeah, one. Yeah, 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 he's yeah, a wonderful yeah. man. So he, uh, he decided he wanted to practice baritone on his flat, and it was too noisy. So he bought this box from Portugal, which is a metal box, which yeah. is supposed to be soundproof. And then he walked on that soundproof box and could practice his baritone. However, actually, he did get locked in. Oh, God. Wow. And he couldn't open it up. And he had to... <laughs> it was like he was it was hours. He was like absolutely panicking because he thought he was going to die uh, because the box is pretty well insulated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he thought he was going to run out of air and stuff. And eventually he kind of toppled. He just uh, started banging himself and then uns- unstabilizing the box until the box kind of fell sideways and he could get out of it. But wow. very scary. Wow. It's been real tough to get out. Wow. <laughs> 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 We've got... We've got some more questions um, and uh, another statement from Caroline. So Caroline's statement is, it's Martin Martin's daughter's second birthday on Tuesday. That's right. Happy birthday. Aww. So Martin's, wow. Martin's going to need to Martin's going to need to buy gifts and stuff and cake. So <laughs> probably a bouncy castle. Caroline was just reminding him. So can you <laughs> we, uh, we need more money for that because we just spent all the money we made already paying Sue. And then um, oh. Ivan, who we know has uh, got pro Sue bias, why hasn't Sue played with you lot before? Well, in my experience, anyhow. We've got to ask Graham and Martin that, I think, as the. Uh, oh. I've played with Sue. <laughs> actually, I, I, I'm, I'm in a band with Sue that hasn't played for about three years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going really well, isn't it? <laughs> I'm in a I'm in a beautiful band with Sue called yeah. Unst, and um, we even have an album that's still not out. Yeah, it's kind of good album. It's yeah. really no, that's fine because we we have one that's still not out as well. So yeah. <laughs> kind of as we right. got uh, and and uh, there's a there's a great photo of um, we did this gig in uh, I think it was in was it a, it was a pie or something? It was, yeah, it was Pathhead. Yeah, in in the hall. And and you have the most incredible shirt on. So like, Sue and Neil and Una are all wearing completely black, black <laughs> tops, black trousers, black shoes. And this wasn't arranged. It's just they all showed up in this kind of, <laughs> you know, we're Glasgow, we uh, free improv for Glasgow. We wear black. We eschew colour. We we reject the concept of colour. We are serious musicians. And I turned up looking like fucking Timmy Mallet <laughs> in this <laughs> really loud kind of African pl- print shirt. But I had blue trainers that I got for 20 quid off the internet, which were just... And then the photo, it just looks, I just look like a complete yeah. idiot. I might be able to find it. No, 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 Tom, you're like a shining star. I think, did the shirt not have bananas on it? No, that was... No, that's another one. That's another that's one. A okay. one. Okay. So uh, I think I have I've played with Sue loads, and I d- why she hasn't yeah. played at playtime before, I can only say it's a gross oversight, which has now been at least partially rectified. <laughs> um, this this folk musician's talking about bloody harps on our feed. What's that about? Right, we've got more questions. What is um, Mario's favourite Brazilian dish? Oh. Oh. What is my favorite Brazilian dish? <laughs> yeah. Is that the question? Yeah. Well, there are so many. Uh, feijoada is pretty up there. <laughs> uh, churrasco, which is Brazilian barbecue, is really up there as well. But I think the one that actually uh, takes the acarajé, I would say acarajé and some uh, I'll try fish that stew. Acarajé is uh, fish fingers. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Acarajé is a <laughs> is a fried bean uh, bean bake bean cake. It's it's a ba- it's a an African Bahia African Bahian uh, dish. 
Brazilian Brazilian food is actually I have to say I'm pretty partial to Brazilian Brazilian food. Anything will just take the boxes. So All of them. Um, Morag Days has joined us from YouTube. I think she was asking questions on YouTube and I forgot to look at them. So they <laughs> she's gone, fuck this, I'm coming to Facebook. <laughs> um, thank you for that, Morag. And um, she's asked, why has Tom chosen to have an echo? Some people have. He is the man, he is the one broadcasting. Some people are born with an echo, other people have an echo <laughs> thrust upon them, Morag. Uh, this is a good question. This is a really good question from Ivan, who's been on fire tonight. Let's face it, he's he's asked a whole series of actual questions yeah. and not made Ivan's it. Ivan's always on fire. <laughs> is he? Yeah, I mean, his his comments are just uniformly hilarious. He he's uh, uh, has Sue ever saved a wild animal in distress, <laughs> or killed <laughs> or killed one. I think no. he's looking for fuel for his fantasies here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, shit. No, and no. Although I did find um, a dead rabbit in the garden today. Uh-oh. Was, yeah. it, was, it, was it stuck between your buttocks when he stood up from your chair? It was not. <laughs> dead pun. Well done, Sue. So it's the only way to deal with Tom. <laughs> happened to me before well you know <laughs> sorry biggles <laughs> <laughs> right bronwyn's asked uh she's asked a, a question it's kind of it's just favorite jazz album it's almost like a statement but with this question mark at the end oh and then well so everybody got to say the favorite jazz album marty Whittle it down to one. Sorry. Oh, Mark is not entertaining <laughs> this. <laughs> he, he's just not interested in getting involved in this sort of badinage <laughs> on a superficial level. I couldn't possibly well narrow right, my encyclopedia. What's yours, Tom? My f uh, Love Supreme, John Coltrane. Mm. Fine album. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't name <laughs> one favourite. Not even for the purposes of a, a chat on Facebook. Well it's not gonna. It, it's not I'd the end of the world. I'd be lying if I picked <laughs> one. I just don't want to do that. Respect is due, Marty. I've been listening to a lot of Mini Ripperton actually. Don't like Mini Ripperton. Yeah. yeah. I just, I've, I've had this double album of Mini Ripperton stuff that I've never really listened to, and I put it on the other day, and it's absolutely fantastic. Mm. So that's that's my thing at the moment. Is it a jazz album? No, she's. She did kind of funk rock stuff in the mid 70s. She had one of these incredible voices. She had like a five octave range. And then she had this whistle oh. register, a bit like Mariah Carey. You know, except. Better? Well, <laughs> each to their own, I suppose. <laughs> Graham, uh, what's your favourite jazz album? Uh, the Bridge, uh, Sonny Rollins. Ooh. Uh, nice. Guitar, amazing. Sue, so what's your favourite jazz album? Uh, it has to be John Sermon and Stu Martin live at is it live at Woodstock Town Hall. It's awesome. I just remembered something, by the way, during <laughs> during our second set, um, Ivan and Simon Toomey were we were doing this sort of free improv intro bit, and Simon and Ivan were saying stuff on Facebook feed like. Is this a jazz gig or is it an adult learning c center? Or and <laughs> this reminds me of finger bobs, <laughs> 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 stuff, stuff like that. And I was uh, what I, what it made me think about was the the difference between doing this like this is we actually get an insight into what's going on in our audience's brains yeah. while we're playing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just wondering the whole t the last six years they've been sitting there going, God, this is like a bloody <laughs> special needs class, you know, while we're doing free improv and, uh, and 
this is like magic roundabout and stuff like that or is that just since we went online that this has started um i'm not saying that you're wrong i think there was a lot of finger bobs inspiration certainly in the bit i was doing and finger in bobs was a great show most of my musical inspiration is finger bobs <laughs> but um it was extremely funny there was this sort of comment about uh, what we were doing while we were doing it, which I thought was very funny. Okay, so Simon's asked, "What's your favourite folk album?" So let's just let's move on. That's, that's not going to happen. <laughs> 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 I actually really like the 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 young piper from Sky who can't pronounce her name. It's got a Bridget Campbell or something. That's in my favourite current folk album. Well, I think we're going to about get cut off in in five minutes, so we've got to decide. Um, <laughs> we've got, a, we've got. A, oh, m Caroline, could this is the first Caroline that's not a statement? It's a question. Could Mario cook the top playtime supporters' dinner? There's a there's plural as well, so I think she doesn't just mean herself. Oh, she's obviously pretty much one of the top but um yeah mary do you want to cook brazilian food for our playtime supporters uh yeah um game <laughs> mario Which doesn't actually happen. cook his wife cooks mario just stands there and <laughs> tell, <laughs> tells her what to do but she ignores him <laughs> oh i'll have you know i just uh you know i just cooked a, a mean curry uh, fish curry today Outside on the barbecue, I'll wow. have you know. This is a this is a good question from Ivan. Where would you rather be now? Graham thinks Graham's got something to say. His hand is on his microphone. Yeah. Bournemouth Beach, probably. <laughs> down there. <laughs> the party going on down there. I'm just joking. Glencoe. <laughs> well, that's it. Marty? Well, yeah, be a beach of, s of some kind would be would be great. I've missed I've missed not being able to go to sort of Gullen. It's just uh, it's so beautiful there, and it's yeah, and the obviously the kids as well. Sue. Sue. I know I'm supposed to see a beach, right? You're not but supposed I'd to see anything. I'd quite, I'd quite like to want. be, at I'd quite like to be at Glastonbury right now. Because you were at Glastonbury last year, weren't you, Sue? Yeah. Ooh. Sue's got a hamburger truck. She goes around. Yeah. <laughs> she goes around the festivals. <laughs> <laughs> She's g really good at fried onions. <laughs> Well, I was thinking the other day that my my uh, another band that I have called In Common, which Graham Graham is in, we were meant to go to Egypt in March and play. Mm. We were going to open the Cairo Jazz Festival and the Alexandria Jazz Festival and play with this guy called Fatih Salami, who um, is the only Muslim Arab musician to ever win a Grammy. Is and that his real name? That's his real name. Jesus. Yeah, and he. Uh, Incredible, beautiful musician. He um, did this incredible album called Egypt with Yusuf and Dor. You should go and listen to it on iTunes. It's absolutely amazing. And like Yusuf and Dor is from Senegal, but he's also Muslim. And so it's this mixture of Senegalese music and Egyptian music. And Fatih Salami uh, has this orchestra, and he wrote all the arrangements. <coughs> and um, uh, it's stunning. So we were going to play these two really big gigs in Egypt and play with this wonderful guy. And uh, it didn't happen because of the, the blooming virus. So I thought hopefully it will happen at some point. I don't know. Who knows? Will we ever get to go anywhere again? Um, <laughs> Simon has asked, is he spicy? I think that's a fatty salami question. And I don't know. 
Um, Caroline has made another statement. I would love to be at the outhouse listening to you guys. Do you mean us talking uh. nonsense or playing music, Caroline? Both, I guess. We could we could keep this in at the gig. We could just sit there and talk for like two hours after the gig. You always talk a lot of nonsense during the gig anyway. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Got you there. Can Mr. Salami be the next mystery? Actually, that's, you know, oh we could yeah. have ma fa invite Fat yeah. Salami on. Uh, I'll try. Caroline has clarified her statement. She meant with us playing music. So Maybe we could play in the beer garden, which is open. Like at least during the summer. Well, which is going to last for another couple of weeks and then finish. But yeah. So listen, um, we've got two minutes, 21 seconds left. So um, I think we all need to say thank you to Sue. Thank you, Sue. Thanks, Sue. Cheers. Great. Thank you. It's been my absolute pleasure. It's been such a treat. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Uh, thank you to everybody that um, tuned in, and uh, we really appreciate you, your loyalty and your support. And um, for quite a few of you, who sent money, which is also very appreciated. <coughs> and. Uh, We'll see you next week, I guess. Martin, final words? In crow language? <laughs> Could you say one more thing in crow? It would be good. That was it. <coughs> Tom? That's it, man. We're waiting for you to say something epic. I'm all out. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. Mike's got young children, so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Lovely. Love you all. Stay safe. <laughs> See, See you, you next, next week. week. Cheers, mate. Bye. Bye.